we are joined by Professor Art Carden from Samford University. He is at the Brock School of Business. He is going to be talking about how he designs his rubrics in the macroeconomics course that he teaches. I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Critic, and I've been using it now for several years, in part because of, first, the importance of peer learning where students get to have a decentralized discussion with one another about the ideas that we're encountering. I found this especially important and especially useful um, as we're kind of coming as we were kind of coming out of the pandemic. When I think about the importance of, of peer learning, I think about the difference between trying to memorize something by rote, um, trying to understand something by doing problems, which of course are very, very important, and then also the uh, the importance of, of understanding something by trying to explain it to somebody else and then also by evaluating somebody else's argument. This leads to increases in student engagement insofar as students have a very, very strong incentive, a grade-based incentive to really engage with the material in multiple different ways. One of the things that I really, really like about critics' peer assessment is that it does in fact actually allow me to guide students more clearly and guide students more carefully as they're going through writing assignments because I can show them very easily what a really good essay is. I can show them what a really good comment is. And I can show them, frankly, something that is um, an example of somebody just sort of phoning it in. It is, I hope, and when, when Critic is assessing these kinds of things over the very, very long run, um, the kind of thing that I think is tailor-made for long-term retention of really important concepts um, that students will, will, will hold on to after the exam. By structuring uh, critic activity with due dates for the creation, for the evaluation, and then for the feedback, I'm able to ensure that students are getting what they need. They're getting what they need to hear and what they need to see in a, uh, in a timely manner. The fact that it saves time grading is super duper important because it, it opens up opportunities for bigger, broader conversations. Uh, I really I really like having those conversations with students and the fact that I'm not spending multiple days grading papers now like I used to means that I now have more opportunities to do that. I'm a really big uh, proponent of what Critic does with respect to soft skills, critical thinking skills, and concept reinforcement because it's been said, you know, the, the way to the way to really learn something is to try to teach it to somebody else. And a critic activity is an effort to try to teach it to somebody else, knowing full well that five of your classmates or six or seven or eight of your classmates are going to be reading it ideally pretty carefully. And that then is going to provide students with opportunities to reinforce the concepts over and over and over again. One way that I've tried to give students an incentive to work hard on the calibration assignments is to give them a bonus at the end of the semester based on the grading power. Start the semester as a one-star grader. If you finish as a one-star grader, no bonus. If you finish as a six-star grader, however, then you get five points added to your final your final critic grade. So that would turn like a 90 on critic into a 95. Given the critic is 10% of students' final grades, so that's a, a fairly nice little bump.